kids, I'm just thinking about how trustworthy God is. He is so good and powerful. God has shown us in the Bible many times how trustworthy he is. When we read about the Israelites, we see God provide for them, take care of them, lead them, and teach them how to live. He proved to them how good he is. Every Bible story you will find shares the same idea that God is trustworthy. The Bible tells us what is true about God and ourselves. We can use the Bible as a map for our lives. It teaches us how to follow God. It's just like it says in our memory verse. Say it with me. Psalm 119 verse 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Psalm 119 verse 105. This psalm describes God's word as a lamp. The Bible is like a flashlight that lights the way when life gets dark or when truth is hard to see. We can follow God's word because he has shown himself trustworthy. The Israelites knew this was true when they trusted God's word and followed him across the Jordan River and into the promised land of Canaan. You'll find our story in the book of Joshua, chapters 3 and 4. So open up your Bible and follow along with me. God had promised that Abraham's descendants would live in Canaan. He would give them the land. After wandering in the wilderness for 40 years, it was time for the remaining Israelites to enter the promised land. Now, the only thing keeping the Israelites from their new home was the Jordan River. The river was deep and wide. The Israelites could never get across on their own, but God was going to help them. God told Joshua and the other leaders what to do. First, the priests carried the ark ahead to the river. Wow, those priests must have been strong to be able to lift the ark. I mean, the ark was big enough to hold two of every kind of animal. Oh, wait, not that ark, this ark. The ark of the covenant was created by the Israelites according to God's design and was placed in the tabernacle that God had instructed them to build soon after God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. God told them to place the Ten Commandments inside of the ark and they later added a pot of manna and Moses' staff. God told Joshua and the other leaders what to do. First. The priests carried the ark ahead to the edge of the river. The ark reminded the people that God was with them. The rest of the Israelites followed behind the ark. Joshua said, Listen, God is going to do something great. When these men carry the ark of God into the river, God will stop the water in the river. Then you will know God is with us. The people watched as the priests carrying the ark took a step into the river. God made the water stop. The priests stood on dry ground in the middle of the river. Then the Israelites crossed safely on dry ground. God told Joshua, choose 12 men to take 12 stones from the middle of the river where the priests are standing. They should put them in the place where you spend the night tonight. God wanted the stones to be a memorial. A memorial is something that helps people remember a person or event. The people would see the stones and remember that God helped them across the river. In the future, when children would see the stones and ask, why are these rocks here? the people could tell their children that God stopped the water and everyone would know that God is mighty. The Israelites did exactly what God told them to do. They picked up 12 stones to make a memorial. Finally, the priests with the ark crossed the river and the water began to flow again. The river was deep 
and wide like it had been before. At last, God's people were in the promised land. God went ahead of Joshua and the Israelites into the promised land. He showed them his power by stopping the Jordan River so the Israelites could cross. They knew that they could trust God because he had proved himself to them over and over again. And God does the same for us. God sent Jesus to earth to show his power so that people like you and I would trust him and be saved from our sins. God has proven himself to us through his word. And I'm sure each of us could tell of a time God has answered prayer or met a need or did something else to prove himself to each one of us. We know we can trust God. And just like the Israelites made a memorial to remind them of how good God is and what he has done for them, we can do something similar in our lives. Maybe we can set a time of day to thank God for all he has done for you or place a post-it in your room somewhere to remind you of something you want to thank God for. We should remember and worship God for who he is at all times because we know that we can trust him. Oh,